Let's talk about multi-tenant. This is the important thing. This is huge. If you're a DBA, listen in for the next few slides. This one's critical. Since Oracle 12 was first release, we hinted at the fact that multi-tenant might one day become the only architecture that we have. Currently in all versions of Oracle from 12 onwards, you can have a non-pluggable database or you can have a container database which consists of pluggables. Here's the deal. We weren't lying. We weren't mucking around. We weren't just trying to scare you. 20C will not support anything except the container and pluggable database architecture. That's the line. So 19C will support non-pluggable. And as you said, you can have that for a decade just about. But once you go to 20, that's it. It must be a pluggable database. Critical thing. Now I can hear you all <laughs> screaming down the line. But yeah, people are saying, you know, well, I haven't moved and you know, what's this mean? You know, I what you know, will my applications break, etc. E business suite, which is probably the most complicated database application on the planet, will obviously move to 20 in due course. And yes, it will also support the pluggable database architecture. That's perhaps been the sticking point in terms of being able to support pluggable across the board. If you haven't moved to pluggable, you want to start looking at it. It's really not such a big deal. And it's obviously a well-worn technology now. I think this is a good thing. Currently, we obviously have two code bases inside Oracle. We have a whole stack of code inside the kernel, which manages non-pluggable and a whole stack of code inside the kernel that manages pluggable. That is two separate code bases. That's more complex That's more chance for bugs. That's more chance for errors. The sooner we can get to a single code base, the better, I think, for, for all, for, for Oracle, for all customers. It's a, you know, basically a tighter piece of code. That's one of the reasons you may have seen that on a much more smaller scale, you notice that we have DBMS job and DBMS scheduler, and we've always said we're moving away from DBMS job. In 18C, in fact, in 19C, sorry, we've actually replaced, we've left the DBMS job APIs there, but they actually are now just hooks into the DBMS scheduler code we've managed to shrink the code base now to give a better and more robust product. This is the same thing on a much broader scale. Only one code base is good for customers because it's less complexity. Now that may not be enough to sell you, so to speak, on moving to pluggable, or you might be thinking, well, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna go to Oracle 20C if I have moved to pluggable database. Let's add in a sweetener. As you know, in all versions of Oracle now, if you're using multi-tenant, you get one pluggable pretty much. There's variations, but you get one pluggable, and if you want more, and hence all the fantastic goodies that come with pluggables in terms of cloning, etc., you have to license it. Not anymore. This is huge. From 19C onwards, in all editions of Oracle, Express Edition, Standard Edition, Enterprise Edition, Cloud, On-Premise, you name it, you get three pluggables without paying a multi-tenant license. Stress that again. Three pluggables without an additional license. Once you go to four, yes. If you're a person that's using four, 10, 50 pluggables, then yes, you have to pay a multi-tenant license. But now you get three. I think that's awesome because the reality is once you're allowed more than one, enormous opportunities open up for you. Here's a classic example. I could have three pluggables on production. There's no extra license fee for that. I could now start taking those pluggables and cloning them to my dev environment or I could take pluggables in my dev environment and clone them to multiple pluggables in my same dev environment. Once I can start having clones without paying a license, the facilities become boundless because I can clone dev, take that clone and unplug it. So I can keep my dev central, for example, repository at three pluggables, unplug it, give it to developers running say Express Edition on their own machine because Express Edition is free. So now every developer can have Express Edition running on their machine and they can have the three pluggables in that as well because it's all editions. Unplug dev from central, give it to a developer, let them create their own pluggables for unit testing. The concept of pluggables being not having an extra license with things like flashback technology is a perfect fit for the modern development paradigms, which are build something, deploy something, build, you know, test against it, throw it away. So as a developer, I can get a development database from my say central repository, plug it into Express Edition, clone it, run a unit test, play with it, blow it away. Clone the fresh copy or the original copy, bang it into another unit test, do some testing, integration testing, throw it away. All of which 
for no license fee. This is huge. This, I'm super pumped about this. So multi-tenant from 19C onwards, three pluggables, nothing more to pay than your enterprise edition fee. Super cool.